Hey Malia, so this is how we can add attendance columns into Blackboard. If you're interested in doing that, that's fantastic and it's definitely an easy way for students to see if they were present or absent on a specific day. So to do this, it's really quite simple. We come into our Grade Center and we create a column. And our column name can be attendance. I have one in here for a sample from January 22nd. I can, I don't want to display it as a score, okay, but I can display it as text because I don't want to assign points for attendance. I just want them to be able to see things. I can assign a total attendance column with points in it that you can then look at all of the attendance and say, oh, if you've missed more than three classes, you get 20% docked off your, your score and that would be represented in that final column. Um, I would keep it in no category or you could create a category called attendance and for points possible put a zero in there. Um, it's not included in the grade center calculation because there's no points to it. You do want students to be able to see this and then I would just click submit. So pretend I had a John Doe in here and I needed to add attendance here. I can't actually because I don't have any students enrolled, but then all I would have to do in, is click in this what would be a box and I can either put um, P for present or A for absent or I could actually type in the words here or gone, it doesn't matter. Because it's text it'll allow you to do that so it's not like you have to give them a point for it. So that's one way that you can do attendance in Blackboard and then they could just go in and see it. Now be aware that for every column that you put in here it's going to make your grade center um, more challenging to navigate. So they'll have to scroll, 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 scroll horizontally in order to see everything. I don't think that's a big deal but I just wanted you to be aware that that can um, happen. So every time you add a column and if you're doing it every day, depending on how many sessions you have per week, um, it can it can be lengthy in your in your uh, grade center. Anyway, so that's how you can do it. I would just make sure that you made sure that it didn't have any points, um, and that the primary display would be text, so that you could type in that. Um, whatever your acronym is that you want to use for that. Unfortunately we can't use this complete or incomplete because nothing is being submitted so it doesn't trigger it as being complete or incomplete. So text is your option and no points possible.